Bitch, make me famous. We do the show live every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Pacific, right here on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Echoplex Media. Also, welcome to the people listening on the podcast. But you should do that, but you shouldn't do that because you should be uh, watching live. We have shows almost every night uh, except Monday, and uh, that's the thing. Um, I don't know. Give us money at patreon.com slash Echoplex, or you can just click the about tab on or the donate tab on our website, echoplexmedia.com, or it says support or something. Buy stuff from our swag shop. That's eplex.store. It's powered by Fourth Wall. That shout out to the guys at Fourth Wall. Thank you for the resub meat cakes. You triggered the Tom Cruise gif. Um, <laughs> so I'm producer Dave. Everybody here knows who I am, and I am joined by by the two of the sweet ones, Sweet Haya Austin. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I'm super stoked. Aloha says the cup. Oh, Thanks. very very nice. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself a little bit before uh, we get going here? My name is Austin Geiger. Uh, I am newly the new member of Sweet Haya as of last year and um taking over for the aaron slash cake meat cakes 1987 <laughs> who's the man and um i'm uh super stoked to be playing with them and uh i've been a fan for a really long time and uh i'm really enjoying it yeah and then 
almost needs no introduction, but. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's sweet of you, Dave. Um, Nihel, um, I'm in Sweet Haya, and uh, the boys are back there. I don't know. I think you could see them. There's Rio back there, and Devin. Sure. And I would say in the shadows, but they're actually like right in front of the new stage that you guys put together. It looks beautiful. And uh, hey, Aaron, good to see you. And Lady B, what's you do? I saw your nice comments. Nice to see everybody in the chat. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for having us. It's nice to be back. There's Ashley to my left and Dave to my right. I'm in heaven here. Love the new studio. Yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun. Thanks, by the way, to excessive shopper or excessive observer for sending us more uh, stuff today. Um, I see Juan Maserati up in the chat. Juan, where are you at? Come through, man. See, so, yeah, I see Juan Maserati up in the chat. So, um, we we've done this a couple times, but we've got a, a, like new people in the chat. Tell us about how Sweet Haya came to be. Mm. Hi, new and old friends. Um, so. <laughs> It goes nuts. I love it. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jeff. Um, so the way I guess it's begun is um, Devin back there, our incredible lead guitar player, and Aaron, um, our forever bass player, even though he's not playing playing bass with us anymore. And Josh used to have a um, kind of a metal project called Suburban Meltdown, um, and they used to play at the the. <laughs> the the Brittany Arms in Cupertino back in 2011 and uh, I used to go and play my songs at the time I was just a singer songwriter I would bring my little keyboard sing my super sad songs and uh, and then I met them one night playing out there I think it was 420 2011 if I remember but it's hard to remember um, <laughs> and so what I loved about them was the energy that I felt from them. And, and I immediately thought, not only do I want to play with these guys, but I just want to be friends. And uh, we kind of connected, started chatting the night of. And then a couple of weeks later, I was invited to play at the San Jose Pride Festival. And I thought of these guys and I thought maybe we can put some music together. And uh, we, we just created a set list um, based on a mixture of some of the songs Devin had written, some of the songs I had written. And then we started playing and we never stopped ever since, uh, even though we've changed names a solid six times, but <laughs> been Sweet Haya for a minute now. And uh, yeah, and Josh Gardner, our drummer is, uh, our former drummer is now in, uh, out in Georgia, living his best life. And Kosuke Okamura is now our new drummer, um, new, but I mean, it's been like six years, I think. <laughs> um, he couldn't be here because baby times, but um, he's here in spirit with us tonight. Yeah. That's kind of how it started. Just um, open mics. That's why when we were offline, I was talking about the importance of open mic because we were talking about new kids um, coming up in the scene. And I think that's just such a great, great way for people to connect, particularly when they're just getting started with their art to get to know um, other artists in the community and, and find a community that can encourage them and uplift them, even give feedback sometime, um, collaborate on projects, et cetera, because... Without open mics, I don't know that I would have had this opportunity to meet these incredible people. Um, yeah. I'm curious to just go and like crash an open mic sometime. <laughs> so, was, what's going on, kids? <laughs> that'd be fantastic. And Austin, how did you come to be in the band? Um, how did I come to be in the Well, I met the band uh, 20... Uh, oh, can you talk closer to the microphone? Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, I met the band 2015, setting up, funny enough, a 420 show at uh in the Brit the Brit and Cupertino and I, I had a funk band, like a, a hip hop band back in the day and um I had contact Sweet Haya to play to headline the show and that's how I met uh Nihel. Hi. And uh <laughs> 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 that show actually didn't end up uh happening with them. But, but it's okay. <laughs> it was my grandma's ninetieth birthday <laughs> and we had to go to Egypt to celebrate. <laughs> exactly. But uh, I uh I saw I that's why I first like met them and then after that i was just a fan and i would go to their shows in san jose downtown and um i think i started coming to the shows and bought everyone a drink so i could buy any hell a drink oh, that's what <laughs> happened i had to, I had to buy I the whole band part. a drink i remember that's a good show. strategy yeah. if you can afford it i had to like but uh <laughs> it was a it was my way we're like I mean, who was thirsty? I'm sorry. <laughs> it was six band members at the time. There too. was Good a job lot of them. I remember. <laughs> it was when Brendan like, was in the band. <laughs> everybody who wants a drink, what do you want? 
Well, and, like, uh, I didn't tell you there's five more of them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Aaron says he made you play bass. He made you. <laughs> he made elevate. me. That's how it got. <laughs> Basically, I just been a fan and a friend, and then uh, Nihal and I started dating, and we got married recently. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Usually against marriage, but you're just fine. <laughs> but uh, and when um, when Aaron d- decided to step down, um, since I'm a huge fan and I go to all their shows and. And know a lot of other songs then i i stepped in on bass and aaron like you said made me play bass and he taught me all the he's songs like, i'm not a bass player i'm not a bass player he's like you are he's like yeah now he's like ready are. put this bass on and disappear and he's still actually it's really sweet That's what he told me. <laughs> and he disappeared into the bushes like um, <laughs> he's like once you put this on you'll be camouflaged <laughs> but I, I think it's really cool. He he actually get, let you borrow his bass, and he's still Austin's still playing his bass till this day. Oh yeah, he's Aaron's like, been like he's he he gave me all the equipment. He gave me the bass, and uh, he sat me down and like we went over all the songs. I had to learn like three hours of their their music in, <laughs> in like a couple weeks, and uh, Aaron was showing me everything, and and he still does. Still, he'll come out. We have practice. We still have practice at, at where Aaron lives, and uh, Aaron and Rio live. You can't get rid of us. <laughs> And he'll come out and, and show me what he's actually playing. But uh it's like no, that, that's, that's not how what I wrote, I, bro. Yeah. <laughs> play right. <laughs> so I No, I, you play beautifully. I uh, joined like last year, I guess, at some point. So yeah. had, not long after we moved in here, we had Aaron on to like kind of reminisce about yeah. that. Right. On Sweet I cried Hiya. when I listened to that episode. We were listening to it at home. <laughs> that was yeah. emotional. <laughs> uh, Aaron, Aaron's just such a nice guy, and we're actually we're like super glad that he's in our t- uh, chat community. Don't tell him. But we're glad that he's in our chat community. Uh, we're glad to see him here on Local Love and during the other shows. That's super, super cool. And we're, uh, you know, we're looking forward to what you're doing musically uh, coming up. So what I'm going to do right now is we got a, we got a world premiere, I believe. Say that again, man. We got a world premiere. World premiere. Oh yes. We got a world premiere of a sweet Haya song. You'll be able to get it all the places tomorrow, or maybe you can get it all the places now. I don't know. I'm just, we're, it's a world premiere. This song we is called- We leaked it ourselves. Because <laughs> <You leaked laughs> we knew nobody would care enough to leak it. So we did it ourselves. I mean, is, uh, yeah, is it a leak if no one's paying attention? I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is a premiere. <laughs> self leakage. It's, it's a silent drop. Anyway, hey, Juan, feel better. I saw you sick. Anyway, we're, I'm glad I got to hear it before it came out. I listened to it uh, last night. So. Yeah, you are the first one to hear it. So, I mean, you've heard it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We don't count. <laughs> don't you know? We don't count. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. This is the world premiere of uh, Foolin' by Sweet Haya. Enjoy. <laughs> True, 
That was fantastic. That was brand new from Sweet Hiya. That song is called Foolin'. I have a feeling Chad will be asking for that rather regularly as we go Ooh. forward. So can you tell us a little bit about that song? Uh, maybe who, who primarily wrote it and, uh, and how you fix it. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't neg the other members of your band. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's mean. Um, you know, that question is so hard because we're, you know, and not to sound like overly, you know, democratic, not that that's a bad thing, but um, <laughs> I think that we have a tendency to ultra collaborate, um, meaning usually what happens is one of us will come up with a melody, whether it be like on the guitar, the keyboard, vocally, the bass line, the, you know, a, a beat, um, a horn line, and then we'll just kind of be like, so one of us will just, there's a click and all right, this is how the song's going to go. And then we just hop on it and then it develops into a real sweet high uh, salad. But for this particular song, I think what happened is Devin was noodling this like badass chord progression. It, I thought it was just so peaceful and sexy and i remember at the time going through some shit as i often do <laughs> i just i'm an artist <laughs> um <laughs> how else do out. i deal with my emotions <laughs> gotta get it out i have a lot of the feelings um and so you know as somebody who struggled with mental illness for the majority of my life i i put a lot of that stuff into lyrics in the hope that it could be therapy for myself and to anyone who might be listening um and then this this kind of um uh, um uh, like mantra kept cool coming up to me like it's just that reality is the one that i create and i i'm fooling myself um every day creating a reality that i don't want to be a part of so why don't i just redefine this reality so basically fooling is is about having the choice um of getting out of the box you put yourself in let alone the boxes that society might put you in um and and defining your reality as you truly want so um so that's what the lyrics are kind of about and um yeah that's kind of how it, it developed um and my my hope with this song is that it can be interpreted however people however it resonates with with people um Sometimes I like to come up with lyrics that are really specific because I have a particular intention behind it. But with this one, I think it's a little bit more open to interpretation because we all have our self-doubt. We all have, you know, um, our, our moments of insecurity. And uh, so I just hope it resonates. And it is a little bit different than some of the stuff we've put out in the last few years. And so I'm curious to hear people's thoughts and reaction if anyone has... Um, you know, uh, any any nice things to say. <laughs> if you got bad things to say, you can Just say them to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Lady B. I, uh, I noticed that, like, when I first met your band, a lot more of the songs were, like, dancey, quicker, like, more, like, to, you know like yeah like closer to like 120 like beats too. 120 beats a minute yeah and I, <laughs> we like to I dance too. the stuff we've been getting the last couple of years has tended not in that direction and i yeah i like what i like wonder as you can tell i didn't prepare any questions for this interview i'm like these no, are i like friends. where this question's going though take it like, go that it, direction is it <laughs> do you do you think that the nature of the band is changing and slowing down a little bit or do you think that that's just kind of what's been happening because of like the things going on in the world you don't mm. really mm. you don't really you don't write you don't write disco during a war right so yeah. because of the things all the things that are going on in the world maybe maybe the the the, the temp the, the the feeling has been more somber mm. in the music amen to that i first of all great question for not preparing that man Woo. prepare less questions yeah <laughs> um i think it's a combination of both one is shit i'm getting old um just kidding <laughs> i love dancing i will never stop dancing but um i think there's there's a moment for pausing, like you're saying, like sometimes the soundtrack that comes up um, it, it, to define our surroundings, define our culture has to be a little bit more stoic, has a little bit more, has to be a little bit more spacious in order to 
best hear the message. Um, I like disco. I like dancing. And <laughs> I love disco. In, I know, right? I mean, you have a disco ball right there. And that's <laughs> the first thing I noticed in this incredible studio. But what happens <laughs> is when there's, for me at least, when there's a lot of noise and a lot of movement, it allows me to escape my thoughts, which is great. But when there's a little bit more space and silence, you get to do a little bit more uh, introspection. And you also get to hear other people's voices and you get to hear things in the silence. And that's what happens when we slow down musically. We get to hear parts um, in each other's writing and each other's playing that I think sometimes when we play really intensely, it could be really fun, but we have a tendency to miss some of the magic that some of our, you know, our partners in crime are are creating one of the things that i've been really excited about for example with this song is some of the really subtle choices that have been made um, by devon on the guitar um and and really subtle rhythmic things that are happening on the drums and uh, some of the little runs that that were written by aaron on the bass and performed by austin and um some of those more drowned out um trombone lines and for me, vocally, it allows me a space where I feel more purposeful in the way that mm. um, that I sing. And I think, if nothing else, you know, the last two years have been about purpose and about direction. And um, so I think, you know, and even our reggae-ish tune that we just put out last year, Can't Get Comfortable, is a kind of a slower tune, too, because it was um, greatly inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement, which... You had to pause for that shit. You had to pause and realize how much of a mess we were living in and how much disrespect and hate we were surrounded by that it was time to to create a space for the voices that were unheard. And I think that's really hard to do when there's just a lot of like noise and chaos. And so movement, yeah. and movement, exactly. Um, so so yeah, I think it's partly that. And 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 also um just having a lineup change has also inspire different ideas um i think something really cool that koska has been bringing is like a little bit of like the latin jazz vibe um which has i think inspired us all to also write differently and even i see it just with devin's phrasing on the guitar i see it with his choices there uh, the subtlety is incredible um it's also, also what we're listening to exactly I exactly think. i think uh, as like a as watching Sui Hayak as a previous outsider and then hanging out with everybody, I think it's kind of like what we all been listening to as we get older starts slowly changing. And, and, uh, and like Devin has been sending us like, uh, like mixes from Spotify every month with Mixed whatever is like news going on. And, and Aaron too, uh, before I could see everybody slowly just listening to different stuff. And I think right now the kind of like the, the yearning for kind of older soul sounding uh, throwback kind of stuff is like is really prevalent and and i think we've all been yearning for that so because it also has an, a way of channeling um you know what's going on in the current world and it's it gives that space mm. so we all kind of been listening to that and then i think that's just kind of came out in a lot of the new sweet haya songs because it seems like that's what it's been since i stepped in it's the songs that they were writing before i came were were a lot of these these kind of songs like that so so you had mentioned can't get comfortable and i think that when you sent it to me you didn't you know you didn't really say anything about it you're like this song's coming out in a couple days you know, <laughs> here, here's a song hope you like and it I, <laughs> then i listened to it and i was like well this is a bit of a departure for sweet haya mm. as far as having like cult, like topical things that are mm. like clearly an in your face about mm. what's happening in the world all mm. music is about what's happening in the world but mm. you know certain songs choose to be more descriptive more mm. more in your face about it and i think mm. get comfortable get comfortable was kind of more the sound of it isn't in your face but like the message of it is mm. like hey mm -hmm. you know i'm uncomfortable mm. and i like I, I like how you made it about yourself and how you feel without making it about yourself i don't know if that mm. makes sense like wow. you, you were able to like say this is me and this is how i'm viewing this but then it the message and the, the the song and what it's about was broad wow that's it means a lot and i didn't just call you you know a, a broad <laughs> <laughs> i didn't i was <laughs> no i thought that was that was that was a profound observation and i i love that that's 
that you got to that point without me saying anything because sometimes i have a tendency to overanalyze things instead of sometimes i should just shut up and let people hear the song <laughs> um hey so here's can here's can't get comfortable we got chip deville in the house chip deville is going to be posting yeah. the post game this evening and uh we're probably going to switch it up bring on uh, other members of the sweet ones and uh, we'll be back in just a minute here love y'all here with members of sweet haya i believe you have never been on our show can you no, go ahead and introduce yourself to the nice people in chat and uh, tell people how you came to be a part of sweet haya sure yeah my name's rio sakurai and i played a trombone for sweet haya and and you also want me to see how i became yeah how do you yeah how do you how do you meet the band all right yeah so this was like back in like 2017 when the drummer kosuke I saw him when I went to, to the Jazz Jam in like in Fremont. 
I think. And then all of a sudden, he was like, like I went to say hi. And all of a sudden, he was like, hey, do you want to join Suihaya? And that was the point where Niha or like no one else knew that knew about me or anything. So, yeah. Well, they seem to take to you quickly, yeah? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And Kosuke talked to Nihel about when I I can come to rehearse. And it was my, it was actually on my birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I joined a band for my birthday is a very cool story. Yeah, yeah he did. How did we turn him down? <laughs> it was like, when it's my birthday. Yeah. yeah. But, Are but you going to tell him? It was definitely the best birthday. <laughs> Cool, yeah. cool. Well, that that's that's great. The Sweet High is one of the one of the few bands that isn't a ska band that has always had horns in the band. So I'm glad that there is a <laughs> yeah, damn I, right. I love ska. <laughs> I, damn right. You don't happen to play a trombone, right? Because I remember a Sweet High show where there was a dude walking back and forth on a tiny stage with a trombone. You oh, don't happen no, to play that, the trombone, do you? Yeah, uh, that was I think. I think that was me. <laughs> Were you with the trombone, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was rad. That was one of my favorite Sweet High moments. It was at uh, the X Bar. I think it was for the release of General Lies when all the balloons came oh, down from the oh, ceiling. Wait a that, that was maybe Brandon on the from the pit. No, that, that was literally it. Anyway, so we we had a uh, maybe I'm mis- maybe I'm remembering there. it incorrectly because it, oh. there were there were times when your sh- your band show was like a circus, and so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Whatever that that was great, and I'm I'm glad to meet you. I don't think I've ever talked to you before, yes. and um, it's I'm glad. I think we've had everyone in Sweet High on, on now that now that you've been on. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you too. And uh, Devin, uh, introduce yourself real quick. What up, guys? This is Devin here. I'm your, you know, neighborhood lefty guitar player for Sweet High. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Left-handed or um, just lefty guitar <laughs> and yeah. some other things, but mainly right-handed. It. You know, my teacher was left-handed. He played right-handed. I don't know. <laughs> oh, cool. I would ask how you became a part of the band, but you were part of the founding of it. Nay Hall has told the story very many times. Yes, it was 420. <laughs> it was 420. <laughs> we met magi- on stage. In a magical time called 2011. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we were hopeful about the future. Very, actually. <laughs> we thought everything was going to be okay. Um Cool. Well, I'm I'm glad to have both of you on. I know that uh, I know that Devin, you've been a little more involved and more inclined to kind of know what's going on here because of Aaron, basically. Oh yeah, he's Aaron's he's like pumping a, your guys' tires all the time. He's a fucking super fan. Hell yeah. But do you ever do you ever get a chance to check out the other shows here? I do, and then Aaron sends me clips of you and uh, <laughs> some of the things that that uh, that are going on. I'm like, what is this? But um, it's you know, it's in a good way. It's just a, it's very. You know, it leaves an impression. <laughs> so, before you were with Sweet Haya, yeah. what what were you what were you doing musically? I was just playing. I was playing jazz in in the jazz big band, and going to go to jam sessions in like in like San Jose, and in like Campbell, and and like everywhere. Yeah, and then and yeah, Kosuke found me at the right time because I was like looking for reason the reason while I was playing music. Right. Yeah. So and had was, you been in like a like a a more like a band before? No, I'm not. No, no, you were you were always doing like um, you were saying like jazz, but we're not talking about like a jazz band. We're talking about like a big band. Yes. Yeah, you were always doing big yeah, jazz band, big stuff. band. Also did some jazz combo. Took 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 some of them jazz class back in community college. Yeah. So. Well, very nice, very nice. Have you ever checked out the content here other than local love? I haven't seen. Like, yeah, I've seen. You yeah, seem. You, you seem nice. So you probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I live with the Aaron. Oh, well, then you. Yes. You've definitely. You've definitely heard. <laughs> you definitely heard. You definitely heard me slurring yeah, and yelling. Right? <laughs> you've heard me like slurring and yelling yes. and yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even if like I'm not. I'm not like there. I can see. I can hear Aaron like packing up all the time. So. <laughs> all the way from the garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on it like nice for the now right space. Back. Well, I'm I'm really glad I've had you on, Sweet Haya. The 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 membership keeps changing, and I feel like we're up to date. I don't know if Kosuke has ever spoken on my show. I uh, he hasn't. He goes to bed at nine. Oh well, come on. He goes to bed at nine. Yeah, he all says from the Peanut Gallery. Oh, if he gets up at four in the morning to work out, he's a better he's a better man than I. Well, uh, welcome here. I'm, I'm you didn't really know anybody when you came here, and I, I'm glad I'm glad you're here. Uh, I know that when I first when you first got here, I was like running around trying to figure stuff out, and I didn't like properly introduce myself. But welcome, and uh, 
all of you are welcome to come hang out during any local love recording if you hear about it. You're welcome to come chill in the peanut gallery. What what is different? What's the like if you had to describe for us with the main difference between working with Sweet Haya and a big band, what would you what would you say that is? There is more freedom, I'll say, because when you, when I was playing the big band, you know, I was mostly listening to like I was reading music. But right. when when I'm playing when playing with them, it's it's pretty much all about coming in. Well, of course, like playing text and all the all the basic things and, and working like working in behind to improve my sound. But when it comes to, like making music, it's not really done by myself. But it's done like with the with the Devin, Mihal, Kosuke, Austin. Yeah, in order to come up with something great, got to have it like everyone to be in part of it. And so then, the difference is when you were working with a big band, you didn't really have any input. You there was like sheet music most exactly. of the time. <laughs> well, but the other on the other hand, oh, yeah. if you have like thirty musicians, it's probably bad if they improvise. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> I agree. It's a good point. <laughs> Everybody say like, yeah, like a big big band improv probably not so great. Well. Well, I didn't, didn't enjoy playing big band, and it's a, it's a great practice to be able to be read music. So do you still do that at all? Like, I do actually. I good. actually, I Kose, our our band member Kosuke, drummer. He's actually a middle school teacher, and I like last week. I was playing with him. I Kosuke invited me to, to invited me to play with their band for the concert. So oh, nice. I pretty much went in there without rehearsing. Oh, good. And like, reading, like reading. I'm from Sweet High Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. He's like, I don't have to rehearse. I'm from Sweet High You better recognize. <laughs> We're from Sweet High I got this. <laughs> yeah, I got, no, I got all the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, cool. Uh, Devin, what were you doing before Sweet High I was trying to figure out um, a new direction of music. I was playing in a metal band for a while with Aaron, and then that band stopped. I started studying classical music for a while. But, um, you know, like in 2010, I kind of discovered I want to do something a little bit more just broadly acceptable in other versions of things that I like. Because, like, I love metal, but it's like, very forceful very loud and you know i wanted something where you could play at a festival you could play at the beach you could play at a coffee shop you could play at a concert hall like whatever it might be and i was looking for a new direction and then one of my coworkers gave me a black key cd and that just kind of sent me off like something super you know complex go 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 heavy to something like really stripped down there's like two members that it's just about the song writing and what you can do with such few instruments and you know two member band that's that that's real good because if you were in a metal band still we'd, we'd have been uh, interviewing you but we wouldn't have been fangirling over your band like <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> it depends yeah i don't know maybe if you were maybe we would be maybe i'd maybe i'd just like sold my dj equipment and just be a headbanger who you, fucking knows you know you know being a headbanger i was always like given a little bit of you know extra uh because i was always like a fan of the bgs you know like i would listen to like slayer and testament but i'm like dude you gotta check out this bg song it's got the dopest <laughs> melody <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite bg song how um probably how deep is your love Ooh, i like I think I like in the night, in the morning, so I love it. <laughs> I think I, I think I think I like staying alive. Honestly, it's classic. I think. I think oh, that you should. Oh, you yeah. should be dancing. Is that what yeah. you doing on your back? That <laughs> actually, that you should be dancing should be a a sweet high cover. I think. Ooh. I think. I, <laughs> yeah that's oh it's a it's a lofty goal but i believe in sweet high i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest this to like just any band well. oh you know what i love when i go to you guys' shows and i know that this is mostly about nahal is that she always points that she's like local love in the house local <laughs> love in the house better recognize <laughs> no that's, and that's that's you know what but you and and the the band your your band also does a good job of trying to build community with other bands especially bands that are different than yours i know that the san jose scene has been struggling and maybe this is just me soapboxing but like seeing the way that 
The sweet high is like sweet high is like fuck yeah we'll play with your metal band oh there's a dj there fantastic let's party and i i i think that it's the only the only like bright spot of a struggling scene is that that the different kinds of the genres end up m- melting together because everybody's just trying to get a crowd what's the i'll ask you what's the what's the you don't have to name the band, but what's the what's the strangest band you've ever played with? Or the strangest act, or the thing that was most like out of like that you didn't expect? And before you talk, can you pull that microphone a little closer to you? Oh, sure. Just yeah. just pull it. Just pull it like you're mad at it. It'll be fine. It'll All do right. whatever you tell. So the strangest band. Well, I did play this with this one jazz jazz band that which played mainly like really like slow tune, like really like slow tune. With like one and when it was something something the leader wanted to play, and uh, oh yeah, I meant sweet high up. But if actually, if you've been in any weird music situations, I'm trying to hear that too. That's exactly what I was going to say, bro. Actually, you con- beat me continue, to it. continue with what you're telling us. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and as a band, I like like. I wasn't when I joined that band. I wasn't really expecting that it to be like a performing band, but but the leader wanted to actually brought him brought a gig, and I was and I was trying to push the band to be be better, to, because when, if you're a musician and if you're like performing in front of people, then you have to like like bring like do the best to be to like do the best in to perform and give hundred percent. But the band was not doing that, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa, you're. I, I, that's that's. Yeah, I, I hope you're not. <laughs> not you guys. I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> watch watch him like run out of the studio with all the members of Sweet High chasing him. <laughs> Oh, oh, that, like I, I, that actually it's not just music though like you try to like do something with people or whatever and mm-hmm. it seems to you like the people that you're doing with aren't that interested yeah. in it or don't want to like put in like a little bit of extra work for mm-hmm. w- whatever it is right. and it's like it's frustrating at anything from music to like working at a corporation it, mm-hmm. it gets frustrating because you're just oh, trying yes. to get get stuff done uh devin i was gonna ask what the weirdest band sweet high ever played with what was your weirdest trying to join a band experience that's a better question my question was corrected well i mean for me i mean this is kind of kind of weird but like every band that i've ever been in i kind of started with somebody so i was always a family member but um which one of those was the weirdest i mean it was the weirdest, but only because we had just had some strange times, but we had some great times with uh, Aaron and Josh. We had Suburban Meltdown. So, um, you know, it was like kind of like inspired by System of a Down in a way mm-hmm. uh, where you could have like two just polarizing different parts of the song and then come together, but it still like works. But um, the I, I just had to say it because aaron said it he beat me to it in the in the chat the weirdest band that we ever played with was we were at treasure island for the um we were raising uh, the wounded warrior project Mm -hmm. we were playing this show and there was this band where they were called planet booty oh that sounds Uh, fucking awesome i mean they had a member that was just like just did dancing and um i will never forget it Oh, oh, I don't it, remember the name of that group, but that they weren't a band. It was like so, a side show. so, so everybody, I think, and I don't know if it's okay with everybody, but I think we might be at the time of the show where we're gonna have Sweet High play us some music. I think, I think, is, if everybody's okay with that. Oh yes. Um, but if you're enjoying the conversation, don't worry about it. After Sweet High plays music, the uh, regular co-host for Local Love Chip will be on here doing um some post game and um. If I don't steal one of the microphones from one of the members of Sweet High Isle, like a drunk asshole, you'll probably really enjoy it. So we're going to play. There's this song that I used to like when I'd go to Sweet High shows, I'd be like, this is going to be really good. And then I would see I would see Nahal bust out her keyboard with our local love sticker. And I'd be like, you know what? This show is going to be fucking excellent. Aww. And this song is called Gentle Lies. We'll probably play another song after it while we get the band set up. We did have time today to do a bit of a sound check beforehand, and it, it sounded fucking amazing. Uh, thanks everybody, by the way, who supports this channel. Um, 
you offset the cost of the new mixer we had to buy for the stage over there. But more importantly, like all the stuff in this fucking studio, all the new stuff that we didn't have when I was in my apartment is almost all of it is from the community that supports this channel. So I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support us, go to ecoplexmedia.com slash support, or you can subscribe to this channel. If you're a newbie here, make sure you're following the channel. Oh, this show's about Sweet Haya. This is General Lies. We'll be back in a few minutes with a performance from Sweet Haya. You call yourself far from amazing. You call yourself a passing good time. You call yourself a hired gun And you like to call yourself The devil's best Whoa, whoa.
All right, I thought we we thought we we're gonna need uh, more than one track, but we don't need more than one track. Oh, they are. Yeah, that that that's it. Anyway, everybody, sweet Haya. Hey, everybody. This one is called Better. To your spring heart, when some miles of search for a way to kick the blues out. When just frozen hope is melting into your spring heart, when some miles of search for a way to kick the blues out. Hey, yeah, hey, to leave it all behind. Better, better, better than a hiding. Melting into your spring heart Lose some miles that search for a way To kick the blues out Winter's frozen hope is melting Into your spring heart Lose some miles that search for a way To kick the blues out Jevin. Like the dream audience is just having three people watching us in person, <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for everybody. Oh, really? For real? Um, thank you everybody for listening. That's awesome. Hope you guys like that song. We haven't played it in a minute. I feel naked without the drums, but also I love hearing everything y'all are playing. So uh, maybe we'll play it at the Art Boutique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys want to do one? Can we do one more? I don't know. Since since we're here. <laughs> I know, and thank you so much. I heard they went and bought like a new mixer to help fit all of our, our, our equipment in there. So I just want to say thank you so much, Echoplex, for taking such good care of your musicians and uh, keeping this thing going in our community. Um, give them some props up over there in the chat. I see, I see all your cute emojis. Hold on, I don't have my glasses, so I'll come check it out after. <laughs> this one is called Rise Above It, and I'm going to dedicate it to your audience here because this one is about building up our community through love. Drives a 
feet When you lose a precious moment You must hold on to the next When a mistake stares you down You must rise above feet When you fade and love your instincts Let your heart carry you there I know it's not all that simple Try. Can I plug in the guitar? I, I, it's not like I know what I'm doing, so I could pretend play. It's like a uh, air guitar. <laughs> um. <laughs> it can wait as well. It's okay? I have a thing, <laughs> Dave. I have a thing. <laughs> News. Um. This song we really wanted to bring back because uh, Nihal and Devin wrote this song and it was one of our favorite songs and we just we just brought it back. Hold on, hold on. Can we, can we get out of your shot? No, dude, you, please stay in the shot. I'm not going to stay in the shot with you. <laughs> You're the candy. You're the eye candy. Um... Yeah, to everybody listening, I know some of you are far away. By the way, if you're in Australia, help us get get out there. I really want to come out to Australia. <laughs> we decided we want to do like a Echoplex Sweet High, uh, Echo Echo Haya tour, um, and, and we'd really like it to be in Australia. Um, my page, uh, plane tickets to Australia. Yeah, <laughs> if you guys know of a festival, we can play out there that will uh, support independent local musicians to fly out there. We'll, we're we're gonna bring on. Chip, Dave, and Ashley with us, and all their pets. <laughs> um, but no, thank you all so much for listening. And if you are local, we are going to be playing at the Art Boutique on December 17th. 
with some of our really good friends. Um, Relapse is actually going to be uh, releasing a Christmas album or a holiday album. If you guys haven't seen these guys live, you must see them. Relapse, it's all capital. And then, um, and then Periscope is also on this bill. It's like the tastiest little bill. And we've been doing this for about six or seven years now at the Art Boutique. And that's my birthday show. So I'm making sure. Yes! <laughs> that's, that's real fam right there. So, um, yeah, we're hoping to keep this tradition going at the Art Boutique December 17th. And uh, it's all ages, so bring the kids. <clears throat> all right, this one is called It's Not Yours. And, uh, yeah, it's actually for you. Count it because I can't count. <laughs> Yeah, the way that it flutters The wind in your heart And I know it's always hard To hear the words that it speaks A warm breeze passes by I will give you what you ain't got For the things that you need Aren't here Cause they're not yours Sing it, Dev They've never been yours Be yours. If it hurts enough to scream, get it, Rio. How you've been feeling, then it's worth holding on so that you get a chance to sing it. They say that the love yeah, the love you've been giving should be enough, should be enough, but it's not It's never be yours It's not yours It's never be yours Just to hold on One day you'll be yours Just to hold up Until you'll be yours It will be yours It shall be yours For you to keep everybody
Yeah, the way that it flutters when your heart is shining on always hard to hear the words that it speaks. They've always been yours For you to keep For you to hold For you to keep You to hold for Devin Moreno on the guitar, just shredding it super casually. <laughs> one more, one more. One more. Yeah. That was Nihil on guitar right there. That don't count. <laughs> guitar. Do, uh, uh, Ain't cooking? Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if there's any... Ooh. Do you guys want to hear something you heard on the record, or you want to hear something uh, that you haven't heard yet? I like that, Dave. I'll take good enough from you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to thank Ashley for these dangerous. They are delightful. I don't know what you put in there, but I trust you. That's how much I love you. <laughs> you are the bar witch. You're the everything. You're the universal witch. You do everything. Guitar, Aaron. <laughs> If you know Sweet Haya, this one is called Ain't Looking Back, and we wrote it a long time ago with Josh and Aaron, and it goes a little bit something like this. Take the time to realize your full potential, as you never know what you need to be ready for. So you trying to deal with rejection And I witness them trying to knock you down Knock you down Knock you down Oh no no But you ain't looking back You ain't looking back So much time has already been wasted Looking for a love that never existed But I am here looking for an evolution of the mind Regardless of what my experience couldn't find Share of grief. You and I have 
twisted losing I believe You can fly We're no longer turn our heads away From what we desire From what's laying that one other than Aaron? <laughs> hmm. Hey. We got, <laughs> I just wanted to say we got Adopt My Block in the house. If y'all have an Instagram, support that. It's um, a local nonprofit that makes sure that puppies that need a home find a home. So as a new puppy owner, I definitely, uh, yeah, she's crazy, but we love her. <laughs> She's my full-time babe. Um, other than you, obviously. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Let's change subjects. <laughs> um, yeah, do you guys... We got more? One more mute, one more song. Did you guys want to chat? Like, whatever you... What do the people want? Give them what they want. One more song. <laughs> well, Erin, you know we got music for that for days. If you need to roll one. Or if it's already rolled and you just need to go. <laughs> you do? You want? We haven't practiced it, so y'all. How do you feel about it? I was gonna. I thought you were gonna say I need my drummer. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Yeah. We, we just did that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was I was thinking we can give him the live version of Can't Get Comfortable. Yeah. I feel like like Dave said some nice things about it. I just kind of feel like playing it again. Yeah. yeah, we could do that. We could do anything you want. Devin, it's your world. I just <laughs> We did talk about that during the break. We just right? We decided we're going to do which one? We should be dancing. We like it. I got to work on my <laughs> Like six ab octaves above my range. Um, yeah, fun story. We just got our COVID boosters and flu vaccines today. And so the last time we got our, our boosters, I had like a super funny, weird reaction. And funny thing is we were actually recording a live set for Local Love. And what had happened was some, <laughs> some, some psychological things started happening. I started saying some really weird shit during the show that we recorded. I don't know if you guys remember. I, if you look at the video, I have I have that same Band-Aid. 5G, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I started talking about like people's teeth clinging t on the side of the can, bottles, the shows, and you can hear them all the way from upstage. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so that was like the COVID vaccine effects, but I just want to say um, I'm not feeling them as much tonight, but um, definitely feeling the magic. That could be the disco ball. That's true. It is the disco ball. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's magical hot box. I just walked in. I love it. <laughs> we make this. We make. We make this. Oh no, this joints do. I thought we were on fire. I don't say never mind. <laughs> um, okay, so let's play music because I'm better at singing than talking. Okay. Austin Geiger around the bass, everybody. Hey, hey, Ron, that's your line. Could be the way we die in 
into the waters I see If that could be the way we have been up for humanity We surely deserve to breathe the air I know that we need Let's not try to be less inspired when we cannot sleep Can color hurt your eyes Then won't you please Look away If my curls Rub you the wrong way Then I urge you To look at yourself No, I ain't got The time To educate You now I, I ain't got The time Cause I've spent my life Living your lies different i definitely miss koske a little <laughs> but it's fine it's fine it's hard to play reggae without drums <laughs> oh thank you thank you um uh, well fuck it let's do one more i say <laughs> um you guys might have heard foolin at the beginning of the the podcast uh foolin is our newest single and today is the first time we ever put that baby out you guys were the first ears to receive it and i hope that you enjoyed it if you didn't, I'm sorry because we're about to play it again, <laughs> but live. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, we're we're in the process of creating a music video for it. Um, oh my God! Send me this love, please. Um, can we do more shots of you then? Because I kind of want you guys in the situation. Okay. Thank you. That sounds great. Yeah, hold on. Hold on a minute. Well, if you didn't like the studio version, you might like the live version. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we're out of options. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of the fam bam right there. Y'all get together, but there's lights. Oh, there you go. My cutie pies. Get in there. Get in there. You're part of the fam bam. You're like those lamps, inseparable. <laughs> hey, we got the staples right here. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for having us, man. Thank you. So nice to be back. 
<laughs> you tickled me a little. <laughs> getting hot in here. That I haven't heard that in a minute. I love it. Thanks for rocking the Cosba. You guys are the Cosba. Thank you for being here and listening to us. Y'all make sure to keep um, supporting Echoplex and Local Love. These guys are doing such an incredible thing for our community. And uh, yeah, they need all the support that they can get. If you guys are able to like donate or just keep showing up, you know, and showing that support and that love because it's keeping them alive. And uh, what they're doing is not easy. It's a lot of work, but they're doing it with their whole hearts and they're doing it so gracefully. So we feel honored to have been part of this podcast for like six, seven years now. Yeah, since, since the baby days. <laughs> the first studios, we had no idea what we were doing. No way. We were... So Oh, that's cool. We were one of the first bands that uh, got to be, had the privilege of being on this podcast. So. <laughs> You're so sweet, Ashley. All right, so oh, we're like this, David. It's it's not a plane, it's a, it's a heart. Um, so yeah, so fooling. <laughs> you gonna sing with me, baby?
<laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Would well, you guys like that song? Should we keep playing it? <laughs> so yeah, it came out today. And uh, you can find it on on YouTube, Spotify. Here, you, you're very good. All right, so this song came out. It's called Fullin. You can find it on YouTube, Spotify. You can uh, put it on Instagram, um, TikTok. You can put Echoplex Radio 24-hour stream. Thank you, Chip. I appreciate that. Um, anywhere that you can find music, but most importantly, come here to listen to it, Echoplex. Hey, cool. Well, I'm just going to go say what's up in the chat. Do you guys have any questions for us? I'm interested. Hi. I'm going to go ahead and play a track. I'm going to go ahead and play a track. We're going to get the, the hey band Chip. back here. And Give uh, it up. That was like the most smooth transition ever. Hey, oh Chip. Man. Chip's <laughs> behind the, the, the keys now. Oh, At some I point. At some point, we are going to have to do a whole show about how good this show sounds. Let's cry, mommy. 